All right, what we have here is a word problem that involves distance and time. And the gist of this problem is that we have three runners running a marathon, and we have to figure out which one of the three runners has the fastest pace. Now, one of their paces is shown as a graph, another runner's pace is shown as an equation, and another runner's pace is shown as a table. So what we're going to do to compare the three rates is to express each rate as a unit rate. Now, notice the y-axis of this graph right here as minutes being compared to miles. And we always look at the slope as the change in y values over the change in x values. Now, whenever you have a line that intersects the y-axis exactly at 0 or has a y-intercept of 0, then what you can do is you can just find one y value and one x value and divide to get your unit rate. Now, I could look here at one mile and go up to the line and try to figure out how many minutes it took that runner to run one mile, but we cannot clearly see what that value is. So what I'm going to do is go along the line and find one clearly defined point, which there is one right here. And that point is located at 540. So we are going to take the y value, which is 40, and divide by 5. And that ends up giving us 8 minutes to run 1 mile. So the unit rate that this runner is running is 1 mile every 8 minutes, or it takes him or her 8 minutes to run 1 mile. Now over here, notice in front of the letter D here, or distance, we have a coefficient. And the value right in front of that variable is our slope. So we can see that this runner's pace is 7.5 minutes to run one mile. And with this table here, what we're going to do is we're going to take any single point in this table and we're going to divide the y value by the x value. Or in this case, we should say t for time divided by d for distance. So if we took 81 and we divide it by 9, that is going to give us exactly 9. So we would say it took that runner 9 minutes to run 1 mile. That is their pace expressed as a unit rate. And you can take any one of these values here in this column and divide by its corresponding value in this column. Now we should keep in mind that we can only do this though when we have a proportional relationship. And that is when you have a line, if you were to graph it, that would start at the origin. The y-intercept has to be 0. So that means we have an equation in y equals mx plus b form that has no b because it would be 0. So if we compare these three paces here, the runner with the fastest pace is this runner right here. And that is because to run the same distance, in this case one mile for all three runners, it takes this runner the least amount of time. So they would be able to complete their mile more quickly than the other two. So we would say that runner two has the fastest pace. Now in the past, I've seen a lot of students pick this option right here because they think that a larger number would be like the best pace. But the best pace would be the one that would cover the same amount of distance in the least amount of time, which means they were able to cover that amount of distance faster. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.